Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. This is episode number 11 in the series, and we're starting off the episode with Tanked Up Trouble. This level in particular is the one out of the series here, at least in like uh, in the episodes we're going to show today. This one gave me the most trouble. I have read before that this one notoriously gives a lot of people trouble. I do like the music. The music's very cool. And Donkey Kong is thumping his chest. I was actually going to make Donkey Kong thumping his chest, just kind of standing there. Um, sort of the, the image for this video, but I decided to uh, just keep it as an overview of everything going on screen. There is a lot of cuts in this particular level. Not much like this whole episode, but this particular level, I know we definitely have a lot of cuts. And with that being said, it's time to cut open a soda pop, baby, as always. Get those bananas land over there, barely make it. I don't know why I'm taking risks at this point in time. I shouldn't be taking any. There, we definitely missed something there. Uh, maybe not. Because I don't think it was going to take us anywhere. So let's just be careful there. We'll do a quick save here. And I do leave in a couple saves here. I think it's worthwhile to do so. Just to show like how difficult this level is. And honestly, like um, I know that there was a comment in one of the previous episodes about like the water world being hard. I don't know if I've gotten there yet. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. But um, what really tends to be difficult for myself, for those curious, and I went back here just so I could do this perfectly and have both Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong for this next section. That's why it's sort of a replay there. But honestly, for me, what always tends to be the hardest section of these games is um, like these platforms where like you have to match what the platform is doing. And in this case, right, like I'm really creating so many save points because it's ultra critical that the tire lands on here you jump up you get the gasoline from up there we'll go in this dk barrel get donkey kong another save was done there like every little thing that you can do to minimize the chance of you dying here is ultra critical that you do it otherwise you end up like that and you die and then you die again. And then you just keep on dying. There we go. Get out of the weed with the bees there. I'm going to create another save point. Like I said, I left a lot in this episode in particular just so you can see the struggle. Um, but I promise, like, the other levels in this episode are not as brutal as this one for a rewatch there. That's how you do that. You have to duck under the second one, then jump there. Uh, let's get that fuel. Let's see what this barrel does. Okay, it just jumps us right to the end. So that is actually, that should be the end of the, the troublemaking here. I know we're three minutes in and it may seem like that was a lot of saves for three minutes, but I promise every one of them was worthwhile. That was such a difficult level for myself. Like it's surprising that we made it through it. That would be my feedback. This level here, not as hard as the last one. I actually find this one to be like quite a relaxing Donkey Kong level. Of course, I save more than I probably should. So you'll still see save cuts and things like that. But I do a lot of that just to be safe at this point in time in the game versus like actually needing a save point. Let's jump on the Rhino here. I don't know. I think the Rhino is supposed to take damage here. But then I think you're supposed to be able to like jump right back on his back and gain control of him. I don't know what great benefit he would add at this point in time. That's at least my two cents. Sorry if you could hear a door slamming. That's, uh, like I said, with moving in, moving out kind of stuff. People are coming and going at all hours. But yeah, I don't think the Rhino was like really, like, I think if anything, the Rhino just adds extra headache to this level, so it might not be worth it to get. Especially being as, you know, it's still has damage done to it with these spike ball things. If it was able to knock them out, now maybe that's a whole different ballpark. Maybe it's worthwhile holding on to him as long as humanly possible, but 
I haven't seen a benefit to holding on to him. Let's run this way with the barrel. Oh, I need to jump. Okay. That was close. I really don't see a need for this TNT barrel now that I brought it all the way over here. So let's just throw it there. We'll throw this DK barrel as well. We still have Diddy Kong. Like I said, I, I don't particularly find this level all that challenging. Like, it, it's just timing, right? But you have time to work on the timing. And look at that, we discovered a little hidden zone here. Not every day we discover a hidden zone. Stomp on these guys, we can get some extra bananas out of them. Which is always good at this point in time in the game. I mean, we're using save states, so I'm not really worried about extra lives and things of that nature, but it's good to have them in case we need them. This one, I know a lot of saves were done there. That's why that save cut is there, because that was a tricky jump to land. And right here as well. Like, some very tricky stuff. But like I said, like when you're not on a moving platform that decides when you move, this kind of stuff you just... You sort of get better with with time. So it just takes a few tries, and then you get right through it. I, I don't even consider it to be all that challenging. And just like that, we're past the halfway mark. Oh, look at that jump. That one, actually, I think that was a lot of luck. That was not skill. Because I don't feel like I'm getting any better at this game. But I'm doing better in this level. That's the important part. Diddy, just get the heck out of here, buddy. Oh, okay, no, there's a DK barrel. We probably want to get that. Let's wait till this guy's here. Let's see if we could use the momentum off of him. We can! Perfect. We can't go in this way. Let's try to get up here and then go in this way. What do we get from here? Just bananas, it looked like, probably. Maybe a DK balloon at the end of it. Nothing too eventful. Let's kill some of these gopher guys. Let's just see. I want to see if there's any, like, secrets hidden over here. Because there might be, right? Approaching the end of the game. Packing in some extra stuff. I see you, Donkey Kong Country. I know what you're up to. I know all about your kit and caboodle, if you will. There's the exit. So yet again, not another hard one. I think it was a little challenging. Now we're going into the Misty Mine. Hopefully it's not a foggy minecart level. No, it's not a minecart level. It took me a little bit to remember what we were doing here. This one, yeah, it's just like a bunch of enemies spawning everywhere. That's, like, if I was to give an overall, that's it. And if you take this level slow, it's not bad at all. In fact, I think it's the most forgiving out of the three levels that we're seeing here today. Like, it's just, it's really easy to take this one at an appropriate speed. And have no issues. I don't know why there's so many TNT barrels in this level. Maybe there's like some hidden stuff. Maybe we could use that to actually take out. That's probably it. We could actually use it probably to take out the enemy barrels that are spawning stuff. That makes a lot of sense in retrospect. But I didn't piece that together when I was playing the game, so... You know. Not that I would really use that to my advantage, because like I said, I don't... As long as you're taking it slow and dodging things, I don't find this level challenging. Like, this one is just... Using what you've learned, I guess, is the best way to put it. There's nothing about this that's, like, over-the-top challenging. Or even headache-worthy. There's some cheap shots that they could take at you, but that's about it. But that being said, here we are approaching the end of the episode. If you like this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff is greatly motivational for myself. And continuing to make videos just like this now and in the near future. We'll be playing this series here, Donkey Kong Country, on Mondays and Wednesdays. And Pokemon Alpha Sapphire on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if Donkey Kong Country isn't your jam, feel free to check that out as well. I think uh, once we wrap up Donkey Kong Country, which I feel like is going to be relatively soon, we'll be playing LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga as something very new to do on the channel. And then once we wrap up Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, which I think there is a good chunk of it left, I plan to either play Pokemon X or Y, depending on some feedback in the comments. I'm going to start asking like if there's a preference between any of those two games, like which one is better 
Um, if I don't hear back from people, I'll probably just do my own research and come up with my own thing there. But, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll either be playing that Pokemon game or we'll be playing one of them on the Switch here. I think Sword and Shield we haven't done an LP of yet. So maybe we'll take a look at doing that just because it's a little bit easier. Especially being as LEGO Star Wars will be done on the Switch too. So that way I'm not like, you know, switching around cables and things like that. But, yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, peace out, Girl Scout.